Steve here, Shen RC, and I just want to show you guys my Kyosho collection of RCs. I don't have a lot of them, but here they are. We got the Kyosho Sandmaster, the Kyosho Scorpion. This is the uh, Kyosho Dodge Hellcat MK2 chassis. This is the Mad Bug. This is brushless, and this is the Mad Van, and then we got the Kyosho Blizzard, and the Kyosho Fox. I'm going to show you each one separate, guys, and I'll start out with the one on the left. Alright, this is the Kyosho Easy Series, the Sandmaster. This one's mostly stock. I think I just put oil shocks on it. And a uh, better ESC. This thing's kind of like almost a toy grade. It has like a lot of slop in it. This is the sloppiest car I think I ever seen. If you look at this. It's really really bad but it looked cool so I that's the only reason why I purchased it because it looked real cool and uh, it's weird you could see it from the top here it has rivets on the body panels and they all pop off it's kinda cool but also kind of a pain because when you crash <laughs> body panels go flying they all come off the front this that the sides everything but anyway this one like I said I got it because it looked nice but it's almost like a toy grade the problems I have with these I had another one and I sold it, it was the axe version their gear cover stinks it gets rocks and grit in it all the time it's really bad so I put foam I don't know if you could see I put foam around mine to help it out seems to be working much better like that cool looking buggy just almost toy quality which kind of stinks if they would have made this buggy like a good one tenth scale like hobby grade more I think they would have sold a lot more of these because it really does look cool all right on to the next one Next up, the mighty Kyosho Scorpion Buggy. This is awesome. Really cool looking buggy. I like this one a lot. This kit's awesome. It has all aluminum parts, chassis, suspension, everything. It's really cool. Aggressive knobby tires. The wheels look awesome with the writing on them. Comes like that out of the box beauty I put a torque tune to my motor in there so it's pretty quick you guys seen me run this one before it's pretty damn nice I like it a lot highly recommend this kit it's a nice buggy battery goes in the bottom you can see all aluminum really nice buggy guys Kyosho Scorpion. Alright, on to the next one. Up next, the Kyosho Challenger Hellcat MK2 chassis. This one is awesome. They did a great job on this car. It looks real. The body on it. really nice this is a fun one also seen my videos of this beauty in action this MK2 chassis is a really good chassis for the money 
I think these are like two hundred twenty dollars, so they're not that bad. All the Mad Van and uh, these on-road chassis. Let's take off the body and show you inside. Flip this beauty around. I got the lights hooked on there, so I don't mind that. There it is. It's a real good chassis, like I said, for the money. 220 bucks, ready to run. The radio's real good with these also, the MK2 chassis cars. comes with a 14 turn motor it's pretty quick out of the box I think on 2s lipo it goes like 25 miles an hour so it ain't that bad anyhow guys that's the Hellcat now let's go on to the next model here we have the Kyosho Mad Bug this is a four wheel drive this one came brushless a nice as hell looking bug here really nice I like the looks of this one I think this one came in white also I think it may have came in silver too I'm not sure really nice there's the bottom these are really strong chassis. They're heavy and thick and they don't flex like the Mad Van and the uh, Hellcat I have, the MK2 chassis. This was the first generation one. And the uh, Hellcat and the Mad Van is a second gen version. I'll show you underneath the body here real quick. But all these chassis are real heavy and like stiff. They don't flex and they're really strong. There it is. It has a Team Orion brushless system in there. The suspension on the new chassis has a little bit more travel. It feels smoother. I actually like the new chassis a lot better. But this was nice for the time with the bug body. Really neat looking. Can't beat an off road bug. And that's one bug of a beauty. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, yeah, it's the Mad Van. Check this bad boy out. This is a fun truck. If you haven't seen any of my videos, you don't know what you're missing. For $220, this ready to run is fun. Look at the styling. It's like a Tamaya lunchbox on steroids, guys. Look at the suspension on this beauty. Really nice and plush, like I said, compared to the Mad Bug first gen chassis. This one is more, they made it much better. I like it a lot better. The suspension works so good on this. And this is a fun truck. I think out of the box on 2S, this one goes like 24, 25 miles an hour. Let me show you the bottom of the chassis. You can see it looks different now than the Mad Bug this velcro here it, there's a lump in front of this so when you tighten it up in the battery compartment with the battery in there it slides over if you hit anything the a arms on this everything's like really flexible so you don't have to worry too much about breaking it's pretty strong i'll take off the body and show you guys what the chassis looks like 
compared to the other mad bug that I just showed you. You can see it's the same chassis as the Hellcat I showed you. They use this chassis for monster trucks, uh, on-road cars. They usually have rally cars also. I don't know if they, they're going to come out with them yet. They probably will. They did with the old gen chassis. But that's it. 14 turn motor in there. Everything on this, like I said, runs really smooth. Look at the suspension now on this one. You seen when I did this to the Mad Bug. See how this one bottoms out and has a lot of travel. I like this much better. It's a good, uh, chassis platform for the money like I said 220 bucks you can't beat it and there she is the mad van beauty on to the next car here we have the Kyosho Blizzard FR I did a lot to this one I put a blinking light I put the lights in here here's lights I think I got lights on the back here this thing's fun as anything if you've seen my videos goes through any snow I even took this out on the top of a pond with some modifications if you missed that video you'll see it going on the water <laughs> here's what it looks like it has all these road wheels kind of like a tank with a chain in there you can see the chain the bottom's flat so it slips over the snow I'm going to take the body off and show you guys what I did to it. I got a lot of modification videos on this thing here. You can see right there I have a hook in the front with a pad in the front on the body that keeps the body down from rocking because it makes a lot of noise. There's the hook up the lights. There's what it is inside. I have two receivers in there. I have a 2.4 and I have an old FM system because I run it two different ways. I run it with a stock radio and then I also run it with a pistol grip. There's another modification I did so you could take the cover off with a clip. I have two quick run brushless ESCs in there. I put a Kimbro servo saver on there. I forgot what motors these are, but I got them off eBay. They're the same size. I think they're a 280 sized brushless motors. There's the gearbox. See how it works. One motor does one side. It's like a tank. And then this is the servo moves that right there I made a thing on mine so I could put the plow on real easy and take it off because the plow goes on there and you could take it off and it this lifts it up and down for when you shovel snow or anything or sand or whatever you're gonna do but all in all Kyosho Blizzard's fun I originally had the first version chassis then I had the second version that used to have the motor. The first version had a gearbox kind of like this in it. And then uh, the second version had like a truck solid axle going across with the diff. And it had a 540 hooked on there with a brake on each side. So when you put the right, it'll brake one side and make the track spin to make you turn. That one was probably the strongest chassis you could soup up for brushless and speed. But then it was hard to drive because it was jerky because of the disc brakes on each side. And then the third gen came out with this with a gearbox in it again. So that's the Blizzard. And on to the next car. And my last Kyosho vehicle I have is the Kyosho Fox VE. This is brushless. I put the Mad Force wheels and tires on here. And I'll show you this. This thing's a beast of a solid axle truck. I don't think there was ever a better made solid axle truck that you could bash. 
the Kyosho Mad Force in this. I believe are the toughest ones you could get for how fast they go. They're strong as hell and you can bash them pretty good. You can't bash them like a T-Max or an X-Max or anything, but for a solid uh, axle truck, they're pretty good. I put the light kit in here with the LEDs. It's pretty neat. I'll show you the bottom of the chassis here. Thing's pretty heavy. This is the first gen. They make a new one now. It looks more hooked up with linkages like a crawler. So I don't know if that'll handle. I don't think it handles the turns as good because of that. But there it is with this funky steering. It looks weird, but I never had any problems with it. It's got a wheelie bar. Servo savers built right in there. You could tighten it up or loosen it up. Oh, I'll show you under the hood. This is a torque master. This thing got so much torque, it's insane. There's the body, it flips over. I cracked the top of mine, so I had to glue it over there. I was in the winter time and I jumped something and flipped onto the tar straight on the lid. <laughs> Broke that beauty. There's the motor, 21 kV. I think this is an Orion system in there. I made this little cover to cover the gear so no dirt could get in on it. Everything's sealed in there, the electronics. Like I said, this thing's for the solid axle monster truck. I think this was like the best one ever made that's the toughest so far. If for how fast this is if you scaled it slower and made it run not too fast you probably would never break it but for what it is it, it really goes fast for a solid axle monster truck it's insane it's actually kind of too fast <laughs> and it has so much power it just torques right up but that's the Kyosho Fox guys the battery's going aside over here and I used to have the paddle tires. I took them off because you couldn't run them nowhere but in dirt and like grass. Well, that's my Kyosho cars, guys. That's what I have right now. Guys, if you like my video, please leave me a thumbs up. I appreciate the support as always. If you want to get all my videos, make sure you click that bell to get notified and you'll see every new video I put out. Share my videos if you could. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for always leaving me the cool comments. Makes having this hobby more fun, interacting with, with you guys. It's awesome. See you next time. Shen RC out. Beauty.